You're going to need a few props. First thing you're going to need is a small stack of index cards and a rubber band to secure the index cards. You're also going to need a Sharpie of some sort, whether it's a retractable one or a regular Sharpie, you need a Sharpie, and you will need a cell phone. Doesn't matter what kind of cell phone you have, but you're going to need a cell phone. And the reason you need the cell phone is for the calculator feature. So these are the props that you need for brain cell. Let's get started with the effect. And the reason it's called brain cell is you're actually using somebody's brain and a number. So I took cell because I used the four digits, uh, the last four digits of my cell phone number uh, or my company's number. Now you can use any four digits, whatever four digits that you want to use. So let me explain to you exactly what happens. Okay, you're going to use four different people. If you don't have four different people to use, this is not an effect that you want to use. You need four different people and you would like for the three people out of the four to be far away from the fourth person. Meaning if there's three people sitting in the second row or there's three people over at this side of the room, you want to use those three people. But the fourth person you want to pick from the other side of the room. And let me explain why. So this is the effect. And I'm just going to kind of explain it to you guys because I don't have four people sitting right here in front of me. But hopefully you guys will get to see a clip of me doing this in person with four different people. So what you're going to do is you're going to hand one sheet of this index paper out to someone. So you take this index paper, you hand it out to someone, and you say, I'd like for you to do me a favor. I'm going to give you this Sharpie and this index card, and I want you to write a three-digit number. Any three-digit number that you're thinking of, I want you to write it right at the top of this page. Okay? So you're going to hand this out. And let's just say somebody thought of a three-digit number. Uh, let's say they picked, I don't know, 526. So 5 two, six. And hopefully you guys can see that. Might be a little hard, but it says 526. Then you're going to tell them, okay, take the Sharpie and the index card and pass it to someone next to you. So they'll pass it to anyone next to them, and you're going to tell them to write another three-digit number under the first three-digit number. So let's say they write 842. So now you'll have two three-digit numbers sitting right here. At this point, you have not touched the index card or the Sharpie. It's been in the spectator's hands the entire time. So now you're on the second person. You're going to tell them to take the index card and the Sharpie and pass it to another person. The third person, you're going to say, hey, write another three-digit number under the second one. So they're going to write it right underneath. So you got one here, second one here. They'll write the third one here. And let's say they just pinned 382. So they pinned 382. Now, here's the best part, okay? You're going to say, do me a favor. I want you to put a plus sign and an equal sign underneath. Now, you can do this yourself because people may get confused. But you take it back and you say, listen, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plus sign and I'm going to put a line underneath because we're going to need somebody to add these up. Now, you've used three people already. This is where you're going to get your fourth spectator. So all you're going to do, you're going to tell everybody, say, hey, I don't want you guys to think that I'm doing any funny business with the card, so I'm going to place it inside the rubber band, which makes it nice and easy for somebody to write on. Also, I won't switch it. I won't mess with it or anything like that. It's underneath the rubber band, so therefore I cannot move it. At that point, you're going to look over and grab the fourth person and have them come up with you. When that fourth person comes up, you hand them the Sharpie. And you say, listen, in a second, I want you to add up these three three-digit numbers. But I can understand these are big numbers. It may take you a little while to add it up. I'm not assuming that you're a math genius. Maybe you are. But just to make it a little easier, I brought a calculator with me. Well, actually, it's my cell phone, but we all know that cell phones have calculators. So you're going to pull out your cell phone and have the calculator app ready for them. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. Some of you have... <laughs> Good phones like iPhones or, or, or let me not say good phones, let me say fragile phones. Some of you have fragile phones. So make sure that if you're going to use your phone, um, you have some sort of case on it or you're not afraid for a spectator to handle your phone. Because there is that slight chance if you're outside somewhere um, or, or, or inside somewhere, if they drop it and it falls on a, on a concrete floor or a hard floor, it could break your phone. So that's just a warning to make sure that you're very careful with your phone when you hand it to them. So you're going to hand them the phone and you're going to ask them to add up the numbers. 
Okay, so they'll have the Sharpie and they'll have the phone in their hand. So therefore, your spectator is going to be like this. They're going to have the Sharpie in one hand, the phone in the other. They're going to add the numbers together. So 862 plus 5, 26 plus uh, whatever the fourth number is. And they're going to come to a total. When they come to that total, you say, do you have a total? Okay, listen, I want you to write that total right at the bottom as if you were, you know, adding up. Write the sum at the bottom, right? Write what it equals. So they're going to write that four-digit number at the bottom. Okay, here is the genius part about it. You've done nothing. The trick is over. You've completed this trick before you even pick the first spectator and pick a three-digit number. Let me explain why. My answer is 2109. Now, those four digits, that's the last four digits to my cell phone. It's the last four digits to the number on my business card. How did I get to these four digits? Well, you missed a key point. And here it is. I asked one person to write down a three-digit number. I asked the second person to write down a three-digit number. I asked a fourth person to write down a three-digit number. I added the plus sign and the equals. And now, here's the moment. I now have to get a fourth person. I'm holding it like this. I'm holding it like this. I write the plus and the equals. And I say, okay, it's inside the rubber band. I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to switch it. But we need one more person. As I say that, I lay down the index cards in my hand. So if this is the front, I lay it face down into my hand. Here's the big secret. On the back side, on an index card, I had three three-digit numbers pre-written that equal the four-digit number I was thinking of. So there you go. That's the big secret that you guys wanted to know uh, that's going to really freak people out. Because they're going to wonder, how did three random people actually have their numbers add up to the four-digit number that you predicted? Please watch this video over if you don't understand anything. Use it at your leisure. Have a lot of fun with it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Brain Cell.